Hey everyone, it's Junk Chappy Plans. I have completed one of two of these albums for my December Daily Project and it makes me so excited. So today in lieu of memory planning, um, stop the blur process videos, I'm going to be sharing a flip through of what I've done so far. So if you'd like to see it, stick around. <music> Hey everyone, happy Monday. I'm super excited to share this with you. I feel so proud. This is my very first time participating in the actual, um, you know, purchasing the content, what, participating in product play, and just getting really involved in the December Daily and Ali Edwards community, which has been so much fun. And I was fortunate enough to have some friends who are also stop the blur besties uh kim has plans and neelan has a plan um kim and olana who recommended i purchase not one but two albums because they said you're probably going to need at least two if not three and i thought okay i find that hard to believe but yet here we are i have only completed up to 18 days in this album so i will be starting a second which means um i'm glad i didn't decorate this because this is going to say part one um one of one or 2022 number one or something like that so anyways without further ado i will share a flip through of this um album so this was my title page i love how it turned out and i just repurposed this envelope that the advent stickers came in and in here is just my reason why and day one is a story about grinch day at school and a photo of Nora with her hair like Cindy Lou Who, the journaling on the back. And I did hand draw this and cut all this out and do some stitching right on the paper, which was my first time trying that and very, very fun and exciting. So I love this. And then day two is a story of our advent calendars. And that's a photo of all of my advent calendars and Nora's two advent and a photo of all of her so she got i repurposed the advent sticker envelopes from ally edwards and put an index card with a clue in there and then wrapped 24 individual little gifts that i would hide every day and nor would have to read the clue and go find the gift which was fun and this was fun because this was a challenge with Jenny Garcian. Um, maybe not a challenge, but an invitation to participate in her Crafting with Friends series. And she asked me if I would, and I was very humbled and excited to try this with her. So we sent each other a box of goodies. She sent me more of a lifetime supply of <laughs> December daily content goodies. And we each created a page for our December daily projects using the items that we gifted one another. So that is part of this playlist. Also, if you'd like to check or not this playlist, it's actually part of the try it Tuesday playlist if you want to check that out. And then day number three is a story about our tree. And I was really um, feeling like all the different textures and gold hues. So this was from this was the die cut from the main kit. This I used the stencil and embossed Mary and Bright and cut that out. This was one of the um, acetate trees. This was a little wood tree that I embossed myself. And then this tree I cut out of my favorite um, star acetate from American Crafts. And then I have a full size photo of our tree and yeah that's it and then this little band holds photos that i also wanted to include of nora decorating and then our tree at night so that was really fun and it was really challenging too to like try all the different um you know, textures and just like, I felt like I was, and this was like a die cut star. And, you know, I was just trying all different types of techniques and um, things I'd never done before. And I just had so much fun with it. I'm still, obviously I'm only on day 18. So I'm still doing things and trying things and having all the fun. Don't you worry. Okay. So then story four is about Nora's trees. 
So I just did a little flip out here. And then this is information about each of us. So I asked each one of my family members, uh, what's your favorite memory? What are you most excited for this Christmas? And something cool God did this year. So that was really fun. And I will love looking back on those memories for sure. And I used um, some, one pattern paper came from the kit and then these came from, I think, a simple stories pack maybe and then I die cut a bunch of these little um, wreath elements out of using a Heidi swap die and yeah there's another one of those stars that I die cut and then on the back going along with about us are the questions from the product play class and the tags that I made and there's one for myself one for Nora and one for my husband and I made a little shaker pocket, which was so much fun. And then day six is Nora's wish list. And this was fun challenge for me. I wanted to have it be hidden and pull out from the bottom of this tag, which it did. So that just hides right in there. And I just cut apart some of the patterned paper from the kit. And this is the tag. And the back of it is, um, it was supposed to be seven things about Nora currently, but I didn't have enough room, so it was six. So that's what she's been eating. Lots of Taco Bell, and that's her friend there. Listening to Christmas music on this radio station and wear, uh, playing with her new, this was new to her at the time, her Barbie RV camper and reading books about animals and lots of, yeah, lots of books about animals and practicing her splits when she was still taking gymnastics, which she's since quit, but and then this is a story um, number eight, which is about the new ornaments I got this year. So we have a cakey cat from Gabby's Dollhouse. We have um, Panda May from Turning Red. And there is a cardinal and a ornament um, about losing someone that you love. And so these were in memory of my dad. And I had a lot of fun embellishing this and adding all these little stickers and stars to it. As you can see, I really like gold. Uh, this one I hand stitch. It's no journaling required. It is literally just a picture about the wrapping paper I used this year. Um, and I just added a little bit down here that just says open me, me I want a hula hoop, and then having this little embossed die cut here. And I just, I also like the star theme as well. Story number 10 is about Nora's dance recital, her Christmas benefit. And in this pocket is RDI is the initials of her dance studio. And open up this pocket and there are some, well, there's a piece of the flyer that's got her name and then a photo of us in the car. And then Nora with her two gym teachers who came to watch her dance, which was so cute. And she was she loved that having them there and that's her and her little bestie after they performed and again a lot of the stuff is from jenny garcia and over and over and over again you're going to see a lot of products um that you won't know but i know and if jenny's watching those are things that she sent me so i hope that this brings you joy for watching jenny definitely brings me joy and i love the pink and red together here story number 11 is a story about decorating our home so it's this is just like a space filler and um, this is the journaling that goes with it and then here are the four photos that I took of our home decor there was a tear tray and lots of buffalo check and plaid story 12 is about our matching jammies with a little pull out here about our tradition and story 13 is just documenting my love of the Starbucks holiday cups and red cups. And yeah, that was really fun because I used, um, if you didn't see that video, you'll have to check it out because I die cut all these pieces using that same wreath die cut that I used to do the pieces on the About Us um, story. And, but I cut apart my Starbucks holiday cups and used those to make this tree and I think it turned out really cute and then this is a story about Nora making her first ever snowman so there's some journaling in there 
And then another photo of her. You can't really tell, but she's giving me a thumbs up. And then this is story 15 about us getting haircuts, new haircuts. And there's Nora right before she's about to get it cut. And I should leave this up because here's mine before. There I am with my Starbucks. <laughs> and after. And then story 16, this was so much fun to make, is the story of um, making a gingerbread house with Nora at school one day. This was a sh shaker pocket I made. Almost everything here is from Jenny as well. This little gingerbread tab is her completed house. And then this comes out and it's the photo of Nora in the process of starting to decorate her house and the journaling's on the back. And then there's a photo of us in her classroom. And as you can see, I really liked using this little um, candy cane embellishment, which is actually a mini ornament that came from Hobby Lobby. Um, but that was really fun. And then story 17 is the last one that I shared a video for, which is the story of us going to see, and the tradition of us going to see the quick response lights in the uh, light show. And this just has a pullout and a little bit of the flyer that they handed out to us that I cut out and just taped to the back here. And then the last story is literally just Christmas cards. I made this envelope. It's very janky and I had no idea what I was doing. I just winged it. So it could have definitely been better and more professional, but alas, this is what I'm left with. And this just holds all the Christmas cards that we were sent. This is the one Jenny sent me with my, um, my box of goodies. And I definitely want to keep it because it's so beautiful. And then the last back page is just our Christmas card. So it says blessings and then it's a wonderful life. And this is our Christmas card this year. And that just sits in the back. So that is days 1 through 18 of this year's December Daily. I hope you enjoyed taking a walk with me through the memories of the first half of the month. Make sure that you um, like this video if you did and subscribe and hit that bell so then you won't miss any more of my content and you will get notified when I eventually share part two. And um, yeah, friends, thanks for hanging out with me. Let me know in the comments which one was your favorite. Let me know if you would have done anything differently or if you have any other ideas or suggestions for this. I'm totally open as a new um, participant in this project. So, um, but I really love it and I'm very happy with it. So I appreciate you watching this with me and taking some time to hang out. And I will see you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, friends, and remember that you are enough. Bye.